So the Group 1 Tory cars, the sprint element for the car owners, the Jerry Marshall Sprint Race, absolutely fantastic. Riding, looking forward from Chris Ward's windscreen in his Rover from row eight. We'll see more of him later. Mike Whitaker looks like he's leading into the first corner, but Jim Morris took the lead. This amazing gaggle of cars into Madwick. You see the little black golf leading away on the sprint from Madwick down towards Ford Auto. There he is, Mike Whitaker holding down uh, second place. Peter Ratcliffe in fourth in the yellow Capri, but the story of the race was the ever onward march through the traffic on this reverse grid as the Belga Capri gets sideways. Chris Ward making endless progress in the Rover, but there was some really tidy racing up at the front end. The number five Capri got it wrong on the grass. We didn't want on the opening lap for him to snap across the track, and thank goodness he didn't. A great avoidance by those behind. And then how's that for a moment? That's where the bodywork went missing. The front bumper knocked to skew for Mike Whitaker against Nick Padmore. But the other Nick, Nick Swift, was performing absolute masterful uh, overtaking manoeuvres in the little mini. He knew the Camaros were coming up from the back. There's Jim Morris being edged aside by, as he admitted later, Mike Whitaker making an overly ambitious manoeuvre, but it got him up into second place. This is the view from Nick, uh, Nick Swift's mini looking at the tail of Nick Padmore's UFO jeans. Uh, BMW, he did manage to get very close to it, but up in the lead of the race, we had uh, our race winner, Chris Ward, came through and uh, took a fabulous victory.